Yes. The Mississippi River is the second most polluted U.S. waterway, with more than 12.7 million pounds of toxic chemicals. After a couple of hours in the car into the countryside of China, we arrive at the river. Well, this is it. And the first thing that struck me was just how awful this smells. This is the Dulio Jian River. And just take a look at it. I mean, it's covered with this layer of black muck. It just looks dead to me. The problem is that a lot of people live around here. And while, in fairness, you may find rivers like this in the United States, they actually use this water here to irrigate crops. When I came there, we discovered that it was beyond our, my imaginations. I nearly get fainted and begin to weep because everything we have put in, all the labor from quite a long time, all just in the movement, disappear. 15 million people live next to the Chitterum River in West Java, Indonesia. But since the factories moved in, the canals that irrigate the fields have turned blue, green and red. The problem of the uh, wastewater is that, uh, especially politicians and policymakers, don't see it as their priority because it's something that's fast and they always look at something that's coming in. So they are interested in clean water but not in wastewater. The disaster of wastewater to the ecosystem is so much past their political time, they can't win votes for it. So that's why it's not on their radar screen. And it's up to us to get it on their radar screen because it's the, to make a livable society, we have to take care of our wastewater. Up until now, we've put a lot of focus on this. This is what people wanted, and quite understandably, this is what people voted for. But now, times have changed. We're also going to have to focus on this. Yes, wastewater certainly is a blind spot in the water cycle. But in Europe, we have probably got some of the most advanced treatment systems in the world. So we have made some headway because we combine technology, good governments, including strict regulation and enforcement, as well as capacity building. In the late 19th century, there were around 60 different fish species in the Rhine. In the 70s, we were down to 20. And the major cause of this decline was pollution in the river. Today, we are back to 60 species again. Through effective wastewater treatment and rehabilitation of river hydromorphology, the biodiversity is back. A lot can be done if we recognize the problem, stop treating it as a blind spot and set policies to solve it. And we fully believe the entire country can benefit if they comply with all the requirements of the sewer collector and purification management. Good sanitation practices will result in better water quality for all. We cannot stay blind forever. Let's pay attention to this and also to this. The message is simple. Let's put wastewater on the global radar screen. On our planet, over than 80% of urban and industrial wastewater is going directly into the environment, completely untreated. The pollution it conveys is not removed. This means that people, the economy, and the environment are suffering a lot from human activities. Bring your voice to the global consultation on wastewater. <laughs>